What's up, everybody? It's your boy Drop a Hits, and I'm back with another episode from season five of 60 Days In. Hope you guys are ready. This is mostly for the ones that haven't seen this before. Speaking of season five, it looks like I'll be interviewing Abner sooner or later. We got things going in the works right now. So if you got any questions that you want to ask Abner, send them to my Twitter, send them to my Instagram. I will go through them and I will pick the best ones I feel are right for the interview. And before we get into the video, let me remind you guys, I do stream on Twitch. You can follow me over there. Link is below in the description. Also join my Discord. That is in the description as well. And your boy went and got a P.O. box today. So if you guys want to send me some fan mail or something, hey, feel free. Once I get enough, I'll probably do a video opening up all the mail. I think that'll be a cool video. But with all that out of the way, let's drop right into the video. When Brooke came in, my emotions that were running through my head at the time were, I just hope nobody don't pick with her because I think people probably will underestimate her, but I just got a feeling they playing with the wrong one. <laughs> Broke that undercover si uh, silent psycho. I think broad. a lot of people underestimate me and think that I might be snobby, but I have the attitude that I can do anything. So I think I'm ready. Brooke probably in there like, eh, 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 ready to, eh. <laughs> I don't know. Five of our seven participants are already in our facility. The final two, Vivian and Mark, they're gonna be taking a look at jail operations. Just an overall look at how our facility is being run. Mark ready, he, he, he ain't got no bubble guts. Now I know what the Last Supper probably tasted like. My name is Mark. I'm a former CEO. <laughs> Mark Reddy. I'm a huge fan of 60 Days In. So what's your it other really uh, furniture, kind of a dream man? Come true. I mean, I've watched every season. I've watched every episode. Oh, that guy. Moron. <laughs> I think being a big fan of the show can only help me on the inside. I've been able to see, hey, who's had the keys and the this attributes to be met. successful, whereas the people that have failed, what have they done? Put your hands on the hood. Okay. Hands around your back. Up until I mean, this maybe point, me and Mark do look kind of like, let me put these glasses the on, the y'all. I am no longer on a TV show. Let me put I'm these on. All right. We all on. say we look alike. Me and Mark, what y'all What y'all think? I don't, I don't see it, but y'all say it. I don't know. Damn. What's that in that yellow box over there? Being a super fan, I got to see how the previous participants acted in intake, and I thought it looked very, very easy. Nah, that shit's a process, man. But it takes the all moment day. that we got to the front door, it was like, oh my goodness, what in the heck did I just sign myself up for? Because now I'm terrified. We are going to kill you. No. Oh, we got to get dressed back there. Everything goes in the plastic bag walking in there and you know I don't know what to do to the right stay on the left hand side they gonna tell you what to do believe you that you ain't gotta worry about that I know we have secret symbols and stuff to get help but it doesn't take long to get stabbed either right about that the acid, little acid tabs on son well she did the right time afterwards and she didn't over spray it be alright how much you gotta eat the f***ing on, man? Just depends on what they put on. Uh, like his mind is working. 
His mind that's working right gonna, now. If they hit it with the light, that's what's going to save it, bro. Is that smell. They're going to be like, oh, that's a thing. Billy kind of broke it down. How they take a love letter that they soak in a liquid form of whatever drug is, is for sale. Once dried, they douse each letter with a shot of perfume. When the mail comes into the facility, apparently there's a floor scope of some sort under which inmate mail is inspected. You know, they smell perfume, they see a spray, and they fold it up and deliver it to the inmate. That's tired, dog. Hey, huh? I'm going to be Look. It was amazing. It was, you know, it was, it was brilliant and terrifying and huge. It's not brilliant, though. Because They've been doing County, that for years. Then it's got to be in every county, state, and federal facility in the country, potentially. Why are they parked so far away, though? And make him walk. I don't understand that one. I want to just pull up beside him. I know. Let's talk about your mission. My mission is jail ops. Just make sure that everything's falling in accordance with the jail regulations, the logistics of things, and seeing how things run. This is exactly what it's like to be in the military. You have a briefing. This is your mission. Complete it by all means necessary. I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm prepared. I might have a little, like, what did I get myself into moment, but ultimately, I know what I'm there for, and I'm not going to quit. Hands behind your back. Watch your head. It's on. So now I had to focus on the Chicanos. And the head of the Chicano is Rudy. Oh, Rudy's running so a retirement Rudy's home. the leader of the Chicanos. <laughs> You're looking at him. <laughs> what? Chicanos in here. You gotta go by the rules. How many chances do you give people? One. <laughs> this one. Because if I don't take care of it here, I'll get stomped on the yard. It'll, it'll be my ass, not theirs. The faster I get in with him and the Chicanos, the better. Oh, Rudy about to make him the right hand man. No, that's left. A right hand man. <laughs> I think my experience being in other institutions, Rudy, to see that. And it's like him, he's been here a while, and he's the cabeza, but I'm gonna make sure that he's in tune with everybody else. I want everybody to get along. And if I play this to the teeth, I can be the right-hand man for the head of the Chicanos. There it is. Wait, he's gonna say something else though. Not yet, not yet. Bro just got that stare, man. What? What? You know? She sucks. It's hell. I mean, the women get loud. The food is awful. Yeah, the men do too. But incarceration is meant to be a punishment. It's meant to be a deterrent to keep people from coming back. So and it don't I think work. That's the whole point. The first day of food, the smell of the food was like. <sighs> yeah, it's a hot dog. What do you think it is? Eat it. You know what it is. You get hot dogs thrown at you all the time, probably. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Why is it that the females have a problem with the food? Not all of them, but come on, man. They laughing. I do feel bad for Jasmine. 
but I can't go in there on the first day and be like, hey. Oh, stop being dramatic, man. I can't be too eager, or that's just a huge red flag that I know who she is. Oh, yeah, see? Make sure it ain't no damn, uh, Chomo. I don't blame her, but no. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm freaked out. It's like if I do talk to someone, can I trust them? No. You know, this whole thing, man, it's stressful. But I guess uh, the guys are accepting me. So I'm doing pretty good. All right, I appreciate you. Hey, Quake. Hey, look out the window for me. Uh oh. I'm gonna f this in the White House. Huh? I'm gonna f this in the White House. Huh? Hey, I recognize you. Oh. You saw my pig. What? You stole my pig and my bike. Yeah, I seen. I remember. I remember clearly. Oh, Mar's scared right now too. You stole my pig, Olivia. You took her. Probably to eat her. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what? You know, coming in here, I would have never imagined how real it really was. Shouldn't have shaved your beard off, though, man. Better keep that on there. Don't do but that. Being able to see David, it's kind of like, okay, if something were to go down, I really do feel like he would have my back. No. That's a negative. There is no advice I can give Mark. How I'm going about it is how I'm going about it. How he's going to go about it is how he's going to have to go about it. Because ultimately, we're in two completely different, you know, spectrums of the circle. <laughs> Stop all that smiling, so, man. Mark has to find his own way. People gonna think you advertising for that, but better stop that smiling, Mark. is not my best friend. Oh my God. And I know I'm small already. I can't afford to lose nothing. No pounds. Eat that. I think Jasmine blows things out of proportion. Thank you. For attention, maybe just to be funny. I finally Sloppy like, Joes, man. You're being stupid. I was like, listen to me when I'm telling you this. I know I'm not supposed to talk to Brooke. But I was panicking. Believe it or not, she hood. Potatoes. You couldn't even right. believe that she was a participant. Deep down, she's fine. But real inmates do not behave like this. speak to the sheriff right now. He should have just did the whole 60 days, man, and gathered as much info as he could have. It's not an emergency, man. If Sheriff Lamb knew that this is going on, it wouldn't be going on. Logic. I have something that nobody else knows about because if they knew about it, it wouldn't be there. That makes no sense at all. Oh, they about to be all over her. <laughs> when 
Vivian first entered the pod, it was just kind of like an uproar of attention. Everybody was like, oh my God, there's this new girl. She's so pretty. Oh, she's Puerto Rican. You should see the butt on her. How long you have? Three months. She had the loud pink lipstick. She was so pretty. She just had the look. She got the look. So, we told you to make a box. Oh, what the hell are y'all looking at? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I so, as soon as I walked in the pod, I expected just people to give me dirty looks, just, like, right, questioning though. me. But it wasn't a negative questioning. Three or four times, people were like, are you famous? I know you from somewhere. Vivian is making me a little nervous. She wants to be the center of attention, but you know you shouldn't. You know I'll what the hating, are if you get caught as a participant. And if that happens, I will be pissed. Lady's all over right now, man, because she's new to the pod, chill. Brandon, <laughs> besides being on G, which is uh, meth, Rocker would pick with him. You know, with him and they would with each other. Pick his face because he thought it was bugs in his face. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta nip that in the bud, man. But the thing is, you know, Rocker, he's very emotional. He jumps into his emotions and then he just acts, he just does. And that's how the silly, minor, in turns, creates chaos. <laughs> No, nah, but somebody joking on you, everybody else think they can. So he gotta handle that. Not Rocker, but the white dude, man. The Rocker, the one that want to fight, even though he was the one that was picking on him. Brandon tell him, Rocker, I want to fight you. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. In here, if you say those things, rule states that it has to go down because you've been disrespected to that level. Hey, bro, I'm going home, bro. Bro, I'm going home, bro. But just because it is a rule doesn't make it right. I don't want to beat him up bad. Spit him up good. If I learned one thing from watching the show, I would say this, don't get involved with fights. That's how you survive. I don't, I don't want to. I mind your damn business. man. Show the fight, cameraman. Man, they can't fight for nothing. Rocker getting him though. Took it. I seen a better fight between my cats, man. <laughs> For the sake of my mission, I need to maintain my relationship with Rocker. I will say this though. It's up, but it's just rules of the land. It ain't easy. I'm not backing down. I don't even really know what's going on. Okay? I know you play with him when you was over there. You don't like the way I run this? I've been holding this down for 26 months. Well, why is he explode? Why is he getting mad? Point blank. We must have missed something. I don't I don't understand why he started flipping out on them. This is the cavalry? A couple of freaking frack, tweedledee, tweedledum, chuckle nuts. This is my my backup. Yeah, you're supposed to have backup. They're supposed to pull you, I'm man. At that point. Why? You can't say shit in front of him. Steve, dumb, man. Yeah. 
They gonna come in with guns drawn and shit. What'd you expect, man? They gotta pull you out. So you can talk about it. Then you're getting a signal again. So nobody's saying anything to him about talking to the camera. Nobody. <laughs> oh, don't make that face no more. Hey, you look hot, man. You were advised not to quickly Group together as the three participants. I feel like we, it happened. Yeah, because you walked over there. I can mm. honestly say the most important mm -hmm. people to me is Brooke and Vivian. I don't care about nobody else in there, truthfully. <laughs> Do you think anybody in the pod suspects who any of you guys are? They will soon. You keep acting up. Ain't gotta be everybody's face like that though. Stop faking with the A and E editing, man. They already came in the pod, man. You didn't say nothing. Oh, if that ain't hot, why would you do that? Why would? They Oh my God. They bring me a handwritten note that says, call me. Now I have 60 killers looking at me going, what the hell just happened? Uh, I would have like, ripped jail. it up, man. They'll bring you notes. Calls are subject to recording and maybe- Why are you using a phone, man? Start your conversation Making yourself hot. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I'm here. How you doing? What's going on? Call me. Uh, about 10 minutes before I blow this up. Can't shut this whole party down. All right, the whole signal thing, you know. We'll be right in. We'll take care of it. So, um, we saw you give the signal. That's why we sent in. The guy with the beard checked in that everything was okay and got the impression that things were okay in there based on your reaction. Oh, let where, me, where, let where, me where, talk. Where, where, no, no, I'm talking. Steve is just stupid, man. Hey, the village, the room, let the whole show know what's going on. I know where the dope's coming from. I know everything. All right. <laughs> this is like the dumbest moment of 60 days in, man. I swear. I know where all the dope's coming from. No, you don't. Hey, is that powder? The whites is the woods. This is my opportunity to see the way they deal with the politics in their game. You got a rat in the house. I don't even know who you are, man. You can come at me. Oh. Money off my phone and not realizing they with the right one. Come on, Jasmine, you ain't gonna do nothing. The white pod called a white only meeting. We are the pod and food chain, gentlemen. We will set the example on you. I require. Gotcha. Why did I choose? Mark, like, what the what? Okay. Well, that was a pretty good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What is Steve doing, man? I don't think he knows how this is supposed to go. I don't think they filled him in, told him what to do, or they did tell him what to do, and he one ear out the other. I don't know, because he, in the shoulder, all that, they come in there, feel like ain't nothing wrong, and then he gets mad when they leave.
And now he's threatening to, to expose the whole program. Why? Somebody knows where all the dope's coming from. Want some stamps? Come on, man. You have no idea where the drugs are coming from. But tighten up, Steve. At least we got one little good fight in there. I don't think it was that good, honestly. Like I said, I've seen better fights between my cats, man. <laughs> On to season six, though. We got the next episode coming out shortly. Oh, what happened with the last one? They got stabbed, right? And then it ended. Oh, we're going to see what happened with that, yo. I cannot wait. I know you guys can't wait either. Oh, it should be a good episode. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Join the Discord. We're always in there talking. I salute each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And on that note, I love you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Dropping his,